Hello everyone, I am Catechus Gaming, and today we will be starting a guided walkthrough for Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars. Now, there's not a lot to say about this one. It was made by Square and released in 96 with pretty good success. It also laid the groundwork for other RPG-style Mario games like Paper Mario and Mario and Luigi. However, since it's released, it wasn't really ever touched again. Until this fall, that is, when a remaster comes out on Switch, and oh my god, I can't wait. But enough of that. This guide will cover area maps, enemy data, boss tips, level up tips, and some secrets. And that one super boss that everyone loves. But, like the game itself, it will be pretty laid back. Now sit back and grab some snacks as we dive in. Alright, I just had to start it to test the game, but we're gonna start a new one. And, of course, this doofus, his name is Mario, always is, I can't change that, and I'm pretty sure it's trademarked. Wait, does that even mean I can use it? I should stop asking questions. And now let's check out this wonderful intro scene! Oh no, Peach! <laughs> I love Bowser in the background, just blah 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 blah. God, they did such a good job with the, uh, just, I, I hope it's intended humor. Reminds me of Spongebob, all the adult jokes while all the kids are laughing at the stupid stuff. Alright, just like that, Bowser's Castle. Let's go, Mario. Let's get in there. Now, this is just a tutorial dungeon. Kind of, so you can understand what buttons do. Don't waste your time fighting anything unless you have to, which there are two mandatory fights here. There are no experience gains, no money, no items, no nothing. Look at this for controls. Run around, jump. It's got the weird isometric view. I'm not a big fan of that, but it actually works in this game. So these are some Terrapin enemies, we're just gonna avoid them. They will chase you if you get close. But this is one of the mandatory fights here. Now, the uh, attack item screen, it's just four corners of the buttons. Uh, just attack them, one hit will take them out, they only have ten health. Now, it'll get discussed later on in the game, but if you push the attack button again, right when you're about to hit the enemy, you'll do a bonus attack. So this is a normal attack. Let them go. Now this is what I was talking about for a timed hit. It's something you're going to have to get real used to in this game. But it's not that hard. They, they all have their points, then there's not that many weapons. Additionally, if you hit A right when you're about to get hit by a physical attack, most of the time you can avoid the attack or half the damage. Also, I'm not really good at that either. Alright, just gotta cross the lava pit. Oh no! The bridge! Mario, this trip is one way only. Alright. Through the red door. Ooh, this room is fancy! Look at them chandeliers! And those feet. Why are there feet in the ceiling? Ah, crap. Look at those King Clinks holding up the chandeliers, too. I love it. Don't let Bowser bruise you, Mario! You got it, baby. Mario, prepare yourself for the great beyond! I have no idea what voice I'm going to give Bowser, so we'll figure that out as we play. Now this fight, you can't kill Bowser, but we can uh, hurt a King Clink, so we're going to do that. It only has 60 health, so it's going to take 4 hits. Yeah, see how he crouched there? That's because I pushed A at the right time. Or close to the right time. <laughs> no, failed there. Mario the chain! Aim for the chain! That's what I'm doing. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. You're just tied up right now. <laughs> this should do it. What was that sound? N no! It's a chain reaction! Hang on, Geek Link. 
<laughs> yeah, <laughs> and did you see him cry as he fell? <laughs> Coming, Mario. Fight, Mario, fight! I, I don't know what you think I can do, princess. I'm a plumber, not an electrician. I don't know about lights. They should finish you. How high up were we? Bowser's still crying. Mwaha! <laughs> Did you think I was just gonna give her to you? You're always in my way. This is it. I'm gonna take you out, Mario. Like on a date? Fuah, foiled again. <laughs> Still crying. Oh, Mario. You had me so worried. Let's get out of here. Ah, Mario! I'm gonna fall! Well, I guess that's game over. It's been fun. That is a big sword. There we are, intro screen. I assume those are the seven stars we have to go get. As Mario gets yeeted from the castle. Something soft, get in my way! Hole in one. <laughs> Toad runs in. Ah, oh, the humanity! So, I can't really do a Toad voice, so... You're just gonna have to live with my normal voice. Hey Mario, lots of people use something called a door when they go in and out of their houses. Anyway, I came by to pick up Toadstool since she's a bit late. Yeah, so we're just hanging out in our room. Gotta push B to get off there, to jump. But, yay, Mario's house. You can turn off the light and go to bed if you want. Heal up. It's a nice free heal. I mean, he lives here. One thing I will point out, there's no fridge. There's no oven. There's not even a microwave for, you know, sad, lonely guy meals. But there is a bed that we can jump on, so I guess that makes up for it. And I will probably jump on every bed I find, because I find it hilarious for some reason. Hey, I thought Princess was here with you, Mario. So, where is she? It's not like you have a lot of real estate here. Uh, Mario, what's with the silent treatment? You're not telling me something. Hey, it's Bowser again, isn't it? Oh no, here we go again. Mario, would you please go bring her back like you always do? Fine. Be the man. Mario, you're forgetting something. Come with me and I'll show you. Before you start off, it's best to jump on this fourth wall breaking box and save as often as possible. In case of an emergency, you can always start over from the last place you saved. Yeah, so we kind of have to do that. Now, there is one thing that's kind of fun. If you... Uh, try to save over a slot that already has a save on it, but you back out and do this like 10 times. I wasn't counting, so we're gonna go with that. And then hit yes. Mario does a funny face. He'll either look sad or do his angry, like, T pose. I don't know. He does nothing but make me giggle, so enjoy. Alright, back to Bowser's Castle. Now this is kind of how the world map is set up. Little uh, zones, kind of like uh, Super Mario World, which is kind of kind of nice. It it pretty wor it works pretty well here. He gets there be a sword in the castle. Halt! Who goes there? A trespasser. This castle belongs to us, the Smithy Gang. It's our first step towards taking over this world. And if it weren't for nosy characters like you, 
We practically own this world. So let's see you deal with this. Okay, to me it looks like he's saying humana, 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 humana really fast, and that breaks the bridge. It's canon now. Well, there we go. We're cut off from Bowser's castle. I don't know whether I'm happy or sad about that. But there's no princess with us. Great. Let's go tell Toad the bad news. Oh yeah, he's inside. Gotta go in the house. Who let you in my house? You're back so soon? Did you forget something? No? What happened then? Oh yeah, Mario will mime everything because he's a silent protagonist. <laughs> and it is some of the best stuff. The bridge to Bowser's Keep is it out now? Oh god, just wonderful. We must inform the Chancellor of Mushroom Kingdom at once. Well, let's go, Mario. You got it, bud. Gotta go back to that ye old world map. Oops, uh, excuse me. Oh, that eh, bump on your head reduced your HP level. One of Mushroom Kingdom's famous items ought to perk you right up. Free mushrooms? Heck yeah. Do you know how to use items? So I'm just going to show you later, but in this instance, just hit of course I do and you get a free mushroom on top of three that he'll give you anyway. Oh, I see Mario. You're just so well-traveled and experienced. Yeah. Have you seen how many games there are? Uh, now why did I rush back? I had something to tell you. Ah, I remember. I came to warn you that Mushroom Way is swarming with monsters. I just barely made it back here in one piece. Mario, please do something. Perhaps I can help. Do you know about timed hits? Uh, for this one, I will say no, just to go over the tutorial of combat. Okay, allow me to explain. First, we'll enter a battle. First, push A. So, yep, like in Bowser's Keep, that'll do the attack command. And normally, again, if you just hit A, you do that uh, goofy attack, where you just do half of it. Now Toad is going to explain how to do a timed hit. Wait a second, hit A again right here, you know, just before you hit the enemy, and he does kung fu moves. Good timing. When successful, your attack changes and damage increases. Also, yeah, hit A prior to an attack. I usually don't get zero damage, usually I just get the half damage. Good timing. This can help you decrease the amount of damage done to you. It won't always work though. Yeah, like spells, it doesn't really do anything. Now try a special strike. So Mario gets jump and fireballs, as I'm sure you can guess. Everyone gets their own stuff, and you only get them as you level up. They take flower power, and that's what the little dancing flower there kind of represents. Jump takes three flower points, and that's pretty average. Yep, just like uh, melee attacks, it's hit and miss with uh, specials. They'll either be a timed hit like this, or you have to hold Y, or you have to mash Y as much as you can. It's a mixed bag. There we go. Learn special skills as you gain experience. They're on the menu. Read about them, okay? <laughs> It's so weird. I love it. And there you are. Now at least you have a fighting chance against those monsters. Uh, why did I rush back? I had something to tell you. That's right! We need to tell the Chancellor about Toadstool. I'll see you over at Mushroom Kingdom. Just in case, take these with you. Three more mushrooms. Huzzah! So, in your inventory screen, you got your standards, special items, equipment, specials. Now in equipment, everyone gets a weapon, armor, and accessory. And the weapon and armor is special to them, but the accessory can be used by everyone. Um, specials. Yep. Mario learns a new technique at level 3. And here you can see what you have to do for the time hit. Status. 
your typical RPG stuff right there. Now, items are click and drag on whoever you want to use them in this menu screen. But as you can see, there's only two columns and items do not stack. So inventory management is going to be a thing. And then at the bottom, it says flowers. That's your total FP. That does not increase as you level up. That only increases when you use items like flower tabs or flower jars. Now, when you use one of those items, it's going to actually completely max out in addition to raising the cap. So it's kind of nice to have like a flower tab on hand as a free full refill. Now here in Mushroom Way, what we can see is enemies just wander around and you have to touch them to get into a fight. Good old Goombas. So if you start combat with a Goomba, it's not always just Goombas. There could be other things in here. And you saw that I got an HP max off of one of them. Most enemies have a chance to drop a flower of some sort. Like there's once again, which will allow you to attack a second time. There's HP max, there's attack up, there's defense up. There's a whole mess of them. And I'll have those over on the side in the enemy screen on which ones they have a chance of dropping. All right, so let's get in another fight, see if we can get one of those flowers to pop up. Nope, well, yeah, it's a chance, so maybe this fight will get one? Yeah, there we go. So that's a free full heal. Super awesome. Also on the enemy screen, I'll have their drops and a thing called Psychopath. What that is, is one of your teammates gets an ability called Psychopath and it will uh, tell you how much health an enemy has. In addition, if you do the timed hit, it'll tell you their thoughts. And the Psychopath thing is their thoughts. They're kind of funny. Give them a read. There we go. Keep getting... Just XP so far, no, uh, no money. Now, this game's not too difficult. I highly recommend just, just fight every enemy that you come across and you'll be perfectly fine as you go through the game. Uh, there's no real point in level grinding, like max level is 30. Now here at this chest, don't just go for it. First, take out this Koopa Trooper. Now this guy's pretty weak to jumping, but we can still punch him. I mean, he's only got 10 health. <laughs> it's going to take two hits to take him out, but this enemy will start dropping coins, which awesome. There we go. There we go, two coins and two experience. Now that he's out of the way, we can start going for this. This is a multi-hit box, so don't stop hitting or it'll time out. Now, kind of with combat out of the way, I'm going to stop showing every random encounter. After this one, I'm probably just gonna fade through them until it's a new enemy. There we go. Hey, I got a, I got a zero because I was actually looking at the screen when I was trying to dodge. Ah, oh, Mario's getting hurt. Oh, good, 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 good. Two hit points left. All right, I'm cutting it a little close here, and I should probably heal. <laughs> but hey, we got a free mushroom, so win-win. There we go. That's how you use items. Super easy. Now this here is another multi-hit box. Just go ham. There we are. Now we got a free toad here. Oh, okay, so here we have a level up. Uh, level ups are a little weird in this game as you get base stat bonuses like we see here, but then we also get to choose an extra bonus. And they, they're not equal. So for instance, pow, raises attack defense at level two will only raise them a little bit usually one point hp will go up three points special however for your magic attack and defense 
at level two will go up the most. And I'll put a link in the description below for a web page that kind of details out if you want the most bang for your buck, as it were, from level ups, which ones to take. I'm not going to be meta grinding the characters, but I am just going to pick whichever one gives the best benefit from leveling up. So in level two, that's going to be the star power. So we're going to grab that. Oh, phew. My life was flashing before my eyes for a second there, Mario. Here's a little something in return. Hey, a honey syrup. That's cool. Honey syrups are just like mushrooms, but instead of healing your health, they recover flower points. Always good to have a couple of them on hand because not too long from now, we're going to be relying pretty heavily on specials. Stupid Goomba. All right, now we can't get up there, and I'll show you how to get up there in a moment. Just got to take care of this Sky Trooper, which at level two, we can just one shot. Oh, another Goomba. All right, get back here. All right, now to get up to these uh, upper cliff areas, we got to get on this red flower. So that means taking out the Goomba. Okay, now that he's dealt with, we just got to wait till Mario gets to the direction we want, then push jump, and we'll get a pretty good leap out of that. Now that, what we just got was a flower tab, and this north one has a Goomba. The flower tab itself gave us a... It's not an item we can use, it just automatically gives us one flower point, so we went from 10 to 11. So, always try to get them. Oh, dang it. I don't know how to jump. We gotta save Toad. He's held by... He's held captive by a Sky Trooper. Just gotta jump at him. And it's just a one Sky Trooper. Yeah, that's how strong we're getting. We can just one punch man these guys. Oh boy, that was a close call. Here's a token of my appreciation. A flower tab. Y you know, Toad, if, if you want, you could just travel with me. I mean, there's, there's no reason for this. Now, careful from that chest. Yeah, a Goomba will rush out and try to attack you. All right. Now, once he's dealt with, we can get a mushroom box, which is a full heal. So, all HP and all flower points, as you can see. I don't know why I keep going there when it shows it on the main screen. I should probably stop doing that. All right. Now, in the last area of Mushroom Way, we're going to have a Lakitu dropping spikies at us. Spikies, you do not want to jump on because I'm sure you can imagine spikes would hurt. Do not jump on those guys. Okay, we're going to One Punch Man, a Koopa Trooper, a Sky Trooper. Oh, and Spikies do a butt-ton of damage, so be careful. They also have 20 health, so... Well, we can one-shot them. That's good. I was a little worried there for a second. So yeah, he, the Lakitu is going to continuously drop these uh, Spikies around, so... I don't know. Don't. If you want, you can grind a little to level 3, but there's really no reason to do so. Also, as you can see from the map, there's no other items available in this area, so we're just gonna go to the boss. Well, before we go to the boss, we're gonna use a mushroom. Okay. Hello, boss. Hey, are you looking at me? My hammer and I don't like you. Mario, be careful. He's definitely got a mean streak. <laughs> okay, before we go in there, I should use the flower tab. If I want to use the jump attack, that takes three. So if I use the flower tab, that gets us up to 12, so I can do it four times. You just got to walk closer to him. Now you got my hammer angry. You shouldn't have done that. Um... Does your hammer have a thirst for blood or something? Now, it is a boss fight with two of them. Each one of these buggers has 50 health. I'm gonna try a jump. Oh, that did 40. <laughs> this is gonna be a super easy fight. Bam! He's down. And he dropped a mess of cash. Okay, Balor up. Yeah, his uh, attack and defense is going up. 
Nothing to worry about there. Still jump him to death. Can't believe I haven't gotten hurt yet. Holy crap. I'm making this look like I know what I'm doing. There you go. Three hits. He's down. Easy peasy. For our troubles, we get a 20 bucks, six experience, and a flower jar, which will give a lot of points, which is good. Oh, thanks, Mario. I was running so fast, I wasn't watching where I was going. You know, like, like I tend to do. Mushroom Kingdom's just ahead. We're almost there, Mario. Hey, where did this hammer come from? Hmm. Hey, do you, do you know what this is? It has the Hammer Bros insignia on it. No one stands a chance against you when you womp them with this. Yeah, I'll take a womp and stick. You never know, it might come in handy. So we got a hammer. Well, let's get a move on. I'll see you in Mushroom Kingdom. Alright, so the hammer is actually Mario's first weapon. Just like items, just gotta click, drag. So we're gonna go from 23 to 33. That's a pretty good increase. Now, it's not like... Um, Paper Mario or anything. We can't use it in field. It's only in combat. So we can't uh, preemptively hit an enemy and start start a fight with advantage. Anywho, next dot we can stop at is the Mushroom Kingdom. I love this music so much. Hey, you. Oh, I haven't seen Princess Toadstool lately. What? Bowser's got her again. You know it, bud. Now, before we go into the Chancellor, which is up here, I'm just gonna chat with everyone, including a little hidden guy in the back here. Ah, oh, that horrible crocodile. And wearing crocodile skin shoes, no less. Has he no shame? That'll make sense later. Throughout the game, that uh, guy will say various things. Oops, didn't mean to walk outside. Rawr, grumble Trump. Oh, you're eating dinner, got it. Hey Mario, my brother's waiting for you upstairs. We'll get there. All I do is cook and clean. I'm sorry for your lot in life. I'm always chasing a princess. One, two, three. Think if I practice enough, I'll jump as high as you, Mario? Uh, sure. Yeah! <laughs> you can jump on his head. <laughs> uh, I'm immature. Okay. Hey, did you just see a crocodile running around here? He talks like a mobster wannabe. I'm sure he's up to no good. Hey, wait a sec. My wallet's gone. Yep, we'll find it. Don't worry. Just not anytime soon. Let's try this, this shop here. Hey, Mario, guess what? Ranny isn't just a friend anymore. We're getting married. I'm sorry for your loss. Do you happen to know of a good wedding chapel? Uh, the courthouse? I don't know. Look, I'm chasing a princess this whole time here. Mario, let's say you and I get hitched in a few years, okay? Just give me time to grow into my mother's wedding dress. That might be the weirdest thing I've ever heard in this game. But if you can manage to jump on his head... <laughs> Mario will get dizzy. I hope my grandchild turns out to be just like the princess. Uh, she won't. It's so nice to see our young ones having a good time. Do you people not have jobs? Why are you all home and old? So weird. Over here on the right hand side is the item shop. You can pop in here. Now, item shops in this game also sell weapons and armor, so it's a good idea to always stop in and see what they got. One of Frog Fuchsius' grandchildren is running errands in town today. I haven't seen him, though. Oh, you're here to shop? What are you looking for? So, we can get some things here. We can buy shirt and pants. The shirt is armor for Mario. Pants is armor for someone coming up. The jump shoes make it so, like, spiky enemies we couldn't jump on because they're pretty much, they're resistant to jump. Jump shoes removes that resistance. I'm not going to buy, but I will get an antidote pin. 
and other than that, they yeah, they got a mushroom, honey syrup, pick me up, which is just your a revive item, and able juice, which during battle cures all status ailments. I'm not gonna pick up any of those. I'm gonna put a shirt on though, because I probably shouldn't be talking to the neighborhood uh, kids without a shirt on. And the accessories like antidote pens and stuff actually augment your stat, your stats. So this will give me more defense as well. Win, win. Oh, we can also ignore, uh, annoy this guy by jumping up here on his shelves. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Get off there this minute. He also hates it when you talk to him behind the counter as well. All right, now let's start again. Go in front of the counter and talk to me. He is so picky. But if we go downstairs, we can get a few items. All we gotta do is talk to this weird guy. I order you to stand before me. I order you to jump. Okay. In this world, there are things called hidden treasures, and there's quite a few of them. We just gotta know where they are, jump, and get them. Now, there is a second one in this room, but we gotta wait for that guy to be in this corner here. And we can do that by rezoning, and he'll start to uh, meander over here. There we go. It's right there in the furthest corner. Ah, dang it. Come on, come on, over here. Help me out, bud. Ah, my controller's not helping me today. Okay, let's rezone. Oh my god, this guy's being so unhelpful. There we go, got it. We got a free flower tab. So we got two flower tabs out of that. Not a bad haul. Let's see here. We haven't been into the inn yet. See uh, buildings with the little stars on them. Yeah, three coins to crash. No, thank you. Good luck with that. Now this guy back here will be kind of helpful later on in the game. Uh, right now he's just a little douche that tells us to shut up. Otherwise, there's not much going on in here. There's only two beds for crying out loud and someone's already in one. It's not like I'm always sleeping. It is. It is, though. You're always sleeping. And then I think last person to talk to is you. Hey, Mario, look what you're standing in. You gotta jump when she says that. Ha! Gotcha! Yeah, quite the prankster. Now, uh, one thing before I walk into the uh, castle here. There's a one-time item we can get. When we walk in, we're going to talk to Toad, and Toad's going to run further into the castle. What we want to do is jump on Toad's head, and then when he stops in front of the door, jump on top of the door, and we can get a, uh, we can get a new uh, type of currency. But we can only do this now. This won't be available later on. Mario, there you are. I'll tell the Chancellor you're here. I'll wait for you down the hallway. Okay, now we gotta jump on his head. I highly recommend running in front of him first and then trying to jump on his head. Let's give it a shot. There we go, got up here. Got a green frog coin. These uh, are hidden very much everywhere and are incredibly frustrating to try to get but we can use them to get some really good accessories so good luck additionally if we don't follow him and head through the northwest door we can follow this pathway to the princess's bed chambers ah oh, the princess hasn't returned yet can you imagine how the chancellor must feel yep but one, we can jump on the bed, so awesome. And then two, there is a secret thing we can do. If we check out the corner of her fireplace right here, we can get a weird scene. Found toadstools. Hmm? Hey there, what do you think you're doing? I'll give you this in exchange, just leave everything as it was. Yeah, okay, we can get a mushroom for that. Funny scene, and that's all it is. However, we can get an equally funny scene if we do that later in the game, so I'm going to reset and do it later.
Okay, now that we're done with that way, that path, if we head to the southeast of the main hall, we're going to ignore this guy that leads to the vault. We'll get there later. But if we head to the northeast room, <laughs> the vault guard better not be goofing off while I'm cleaning the guest room. Yep, we can be in the guest room. There is nothing to do in here yet. Just make note of this. It'll... We can do stuff in there later. But for now, we should probably follow Toad. That is quite the army of little mushrooms. Sir! Mario has arrived! Sir! Okay, just gotta walk up here. Mario, thank goodness you're here. We heard an explosion or something at Bowser's Keep. It was so loud I almost dropped my spores. Uh, excuse me? Where's the princess? She departed for your house hours ago. Well, I fear the worst. Could Bowser somehow be behind all of this? Now another great mime scene. Spores alive! You're telling us that Bowser has abducted the princess again? Never mind. It'll be up to you to enter the keep and rescue Princess Toadstool. Like always. I love that Toadstool sounds like a uh, police siren when she does that. <laughs> Egad, the keep is unassailable. What awful powers at work here. Mario, her life is in your hands. Please save our dear princess. Yeah, you got it, bud. Just gotta walk away. Mario! <laughs> Literal face fall the floor. I almost forgot. This may not help you, but why don't you take it along? Hey, we got a map. That's cool. Mario! <laughs> Forgive me, but I can't stop worrying about the princess. Go to the cellar and prepare for your journey. The vault guard should assist you. Okay, can I finally leave now? Thank God. Alright, now we just gotta go towards the guest room. Talk to this little, little, uh, shroom here. Mario, the Chancellor's filled me in. Come, let me show you around. Yep, so the, this is the treasure vault. It's here. That's a mushroom box again. All hit points and flower points, uh, restored. Flower tab. More flower points. Last one. Coin. So, this big one here is worth ten bucks. Huzzah! And we're done in there. Yeah, you can't just rezone and, and get more treasure. But, when we leave and come back... Uh, as part of the adventure, it will be restocked so we can go down there and get more goodies. But for now, we just want to leave the castle. Come back here! <laughs> what is that noise he's making? <laughs> he's just baseball in the dirt. Come back here! He's got no hops. Oh no, that reptile stole my grandpa's coin. Boo, boo hoo, sniffle. I can't cry, big boys don't cry, but it's just not fair. What am I gonna do? <laughs> Great, the kid who cries and makes it rain. Awesome. Can you please stop this? Um, my clothes are dry clean only. Uh, y yes? Gee, you're soaking wet, aren't you? Oh, I'm alright now, sorry. There's nothing like a good cry. But, why was I crying? There was some reason. <laughs> My grandpa asked me to buy some things for him here. When I walked into town, that croc stopped me. 
Oh, yeah! He took it from me! He stole my coin! I chased him, but he's way too fast. Mario, let's see how you're gonna take care of Bowser. Uh, I'm gonna jump on him. Wow! He doesn't stand a chance. Wow, you're THE Mario? I know all about you. You've got more jump in you than a box of frogs. I'm Mallow from Tadpole Pond. I'm a frog, but can you believe it? I can't jump. Embarrassing, huh? How about it, Mario? Will you help me catch that filthy thief? Uh, sure. Sure, why not? I guess Mario's a good guy, right? So the young frog Mallow, who doesn't look at all like a frog, joins Mario in his quest. Awesome. Now, Mallow is the one that we can give pants to. So he's going to go from three defense to nine. That's, that's pretty good. We're actually going to give him the antidote pin because he really needs the defense boost. He's very squishy. He also has a special for Thunderbolt here, which uh, hits all enemies with lightning damage. Pretty good attack. But yeah, I'm going to head to the inn and save because I think this is a good time to call it quits for this episode. This has been part one of our guided walkthrough for Super Mario RPG. Stay tuned for the next episode as we chase that crocodile. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe as it'll help the channel grow. Thanks.